Mr. Beast is one of the biggest creators on YouTube, and he didn't get to that spot by doing nothing. He's done more acts of charity than I think we really expect from a YouTuber, and no one can be mad about charity, right? wrong. Turns out that a lot of people get really mad when Mr. Beast does something charitable. Mostly they're ignored, but something about his most recent upload titled 1000 People See for the First Time really got to people. So today we're gonna dive deep into the Twitter cesspool and address some of the things that people have been saying. So first off, let's talk about the video in question. In the video, Mr. Beast pays for the surgeries of 1,000 people in order to treat conditions that cause treatable blindness and let them see clearly again. On top of paying for their surgeries, he even gives some of them extra cash on top to boot. In exchange for paying for the surgeries, he films some of their reactions to seeing clearly again for the first time, which to some of them was clearly the first time in years that they'd been able to see decently. One thing I can't get out of my head is this image of these people taking off the post-op blindfold padding and seeing for the first time in years and it's Mr. Beast flanked by two or three cameras in front of them. Certainly a weird first thing to see, but I guess I wouldn't complain too much if I was in their position. I mean, let me be clear, the premise of the video is good. It's really cool to see a YouTuber have such a positive impact, especially since I have to cover so many YouTubers doing bad things. But it does feel kind of weird as a premise, right? Restoring people's sight as a YouTube video? It's weird because we only think of religious figures as being able to do something like that. Of course, within a few seconds of thought, and a couple seconds into the video, you know that it's not a false miracle, just a surgery. I don't know how else to describe the weird feeling it gives off. Does it make you guys feel weird too? On top of that weird feeling, the only other real thing I can nitpick about Mr. Beast's video is that the thumbnail is just really weird. I don't know what it is about it, but it just does not feel right. But other people, well, mainly Twitter users, I don't know if you consider them people or not, they have a lot of issues with the actual content of the video. Which is weird because the content of the video is literally just a string of acts of charity where Mr. Beast pays for surgeries that will change their lives for the better. There are three main arguments that I managed to parse from the infinite sea of sewage that is Twitter and they are that Mr. Beast is exploiting these people, that the video is poverty, tourism, and that Mr. Beast didn't take a direct political position on the state of healthcare. Oh, and I don't know if you can call it an argument, but some people are saying that he might be the Antichrist, so take that as you will. Let's address each of the arguments. But before we get to that, let me just ask you to subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I would appreciate it greatly. Thanks. Firstly, I think that claiming that Mr. Beast is exploiting the people in the video is just a completely ridiculous idea. It's not like he showed up with a camera and forced them to undergo surgery. The dude literally paid for their surgeries. And if you think that any doctor is going to let a film crew into his office to record his patients without having lots of paperwork explicitly stating that they are okay with it, you're wrong. No way any camera is getting in there without several waivers and HIPAA forms being signed. These people all very clearly had been contacted beforehand and agreed to be part of the video, and as a benefit of that, they got their surgeries for free. It might be a little bit of quid pro quo, but I don't think anyone would say that it was a bad thing. I mean, the people are able to see again, and all they had to do was be on camera for a minute or two. If I was in that spot, I would not be complaining. What about you guys? When I think about exploited people, I think of the kids in Africa who have to spend all day digging in a cobalt mine to get the cobalt that's in your iPhone. I don't think about someone who just got a surgery they needed for free. So I really think that calling this exploitative is a very, very bad argument that can't really be made in good faith. Secondly, people are saying that his video is poverty tourism. I understand the idea of poverty tourism to be going to extremely poor places and viewing them as if they are zoo animals. In the case of YouTubers doing poverty tourism, I'd say there are some real examples. Like the guy who put up the video that was about him spending X amount of days in the poorest country on earth. Essentially, I think for a video to be considered a poverty tourism video, it should have a main theme that is like, look at how poor these people are, could you imagine having to live like this? Basically, not really looking at their lives objectively and instead treating them as props. I don't really think that anyone can really argue that Mr. Beast video is in fact poverty tourism if that's the definition we use though. It's not like Mr. Beast walked into a doctor's office and set up shop to film those people and say, ha, ah, look at all those poor people who can't afford their surgeries. I think that since Mr. Beast paid for their surgeries, the real theme of the video was, wow, look at these people who need help. Let's help them. 
which is fundamentally different from poverty tourism, especially since we only see a handful of people he helped in the video. Meaning a lot of people got the surgery for free and didn't have to do anything as far as the video was concerned. I also think there's a different definition of poverty tourism that I'd like to address as well. Basically people arguing that since he did it for a video, he didn't really mean it and that he only went to meet these people and to pay for their surgeries for his own financial gain. And I think that's wrong. Mainly because, while I personally think that the best acts of kindness are the ones that we ask nothing in return for, an act of kindness, even if done for one's own gain, is still an act of kindness. And the world is still better off with you having done that. I mean, there are a thousand people who had their lives improved because of the video. People who without the video may still have impaired vision. I don't think that there's any way you can discount that just by saying that he was doing it for gain. And by the way, Mr. Beast also put out a tweet saying that they lost on average $1.5 million on each video last year. So I don't think he's really in it for the money, but I guess you could argue that it was bad because he did this because it was good for his brand awareness or something? I think at that point, you'd just be grasping at straws. Lastly, let's talk about people being mad that Mr. Beast didn't take a political stance in the video. This is mainly a point being made by people whose political goals may be furthered by the expression of that opinion by Mr. Beast, essentially left-wing people who want universal healthcare. Now let's be clear, the situation in this video is really bad. The fact that there are people with treatable blindness that can't afford the treatment and so have to live without seeing is a failure of our system. But I don't think that it's something that has to be made into a political point. I doubt that either side of the political aisle would have an issue with saying that this is a failure and that there's more to be done. I think that in general, the people who want Mr. Beast to make a political point about this are probably wanting him to stand behind universal healthcare, which however does get into some real political water. And honestly, I think it's very smart for Mr. Beast to not get involved with politics. I mean, really think about it. We live in polarized times. Taking a political stance favored explicitly by one party, especially one as polarizing as universal healthcare, would alienate half of the potential audience. I know the internet is a bit of an echo chamber and it could seem like everyone, especially young people, Mr. Beast's core audience, shares the same ideas, but that's simply not the case. If you want to be able to market yourself and your channel to as many people as possible, the smartest thing you can do is to avoid taking any stances. Don't limit your audience pool artificially. There's really no upside to getting engaged in politics online, but there are a lot of downsides. Especially since Mr. Beast, living in North Carolina, might not have the same views as some of the people calling him out. Finally, and this is kind of a joke, let's talk about if Mr. Beast might just be the Antichrist. There's actually a concerning number of things that point to this being the case, if you really look for them. For instance, you could argue that paying for these surgeries and claiming to have cured people's blindness is him doing false miracles and presenting himself as a Christ-like figure. On top of that, he's a very personable guy, and the Antichrist is supposed to be someone who is unnaturally persuasive and personable to the point that he's able to make people trust him. Finally, there's the name, Mr. Beast, which would be really, really on brand to the point of making a joke if he was in fact the Antichrist, since the Bible refers to the Antichrist as the Beast quite a bit. It's a little funny and a little disturbing that there's so many obvious parallels, but personally, I think it is infinitely more likely that Mr. Beast is just a normal dude who was doing a bit of charity. I think that it would be quite unlikely that he is in fact the Antichrist. Guess we'll find out for sure in a few years though. So what do you guys think of all these different arguments? Do you think that Mr. Beast was exploiting these people? Do you think that he was doing poverty tourism? Or do you think that he should have made his video into some kind of explicit political statement? And are you maybe just kind of a tiny bit worried that he might be the Antichrist about to herald in the end of the world? Let me know. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and God bless you.